Hey YouTube, um, well I think you guys know what this is, um, I have another baby left that we have to get that hatched out tonight, so it's hatch rate should be hatching out soon, um, so let's get him out of the incubator, but first off, let's do this, I just woke up if you guys can't tell, so, yeah, very busy day yesterday and very busy day today. Yep, spray down the tank, have a paper towel in there. Um, normally, I put bottle caps on a hide in there. Uh, for this gecko, I don't have any more hides really. I've kind of been out, but uh, I'm going to be getting more, so yeah. So let's go. I don't think there's any in here. These eggs are due in August or something. So. I don't know what's up with these eggs either. These eggs are really due to hatch. They're fertile though. I don't know. But this is a really cool gecko. This comes from a snow to super snow cross. Wow, that is sick. Look at that faint line right there, guys. Here. Look at that faint line. Crazy pattern on these geckos. So, there that little one is. Awesome. Beautiful little baby Max. No? Really beautiful. Uh, wow, that's stunning. He's a little bit smaller than what I was expecting. I had hatched out a little bit early, but everything's there on him, so he's okay. He is good. These eggs I'm a little bit concerned about. So quite honest with you. I'm going to candle it and let you guys know what's up with these eggs. They are fertile. So, I have honestly no clue. This egg should be hatching anytime soon. This one should be hatching soon too. This one still has some more time. But um definitely this one. It's still good. The egg's good. And it is definitely fertile. But it just needs time to hatch, and I guess these eggs are just slower developing eggs, which I guess is fine in a sense like if you can tell, these eggs all have gotten bigger. But these eggs have not hatched, but their hatch dates have passed, so it's long overdue. Um, so, you know, I get nervous about it sometimes, but good eggs will hatch, as uh, Ron Tremper told me, and bad eggs won't. And you can't do anything about it. But, uh, hopefully these eggs hatch. I mean, it's way over 60-something days on these eggs. It's not even funny. It's really over it. Uh... These eggs, I believe, down here are infertile, too, but you never know. Maybe there's an embryo in there that had to settle out. I really don't judge it if I don't see an embryo the first time I collect the eggs, because sometimes they can be fertile, and you just don't see it. So, gorgeous little Max. Now, I love the pattern. Uh, crazy, crazy design. Um, beautiful work that got us made. These max notes will actually be helping me out, um, seeing if Rex is an eclipse, because if he is, the baby max nose should pass on the eclipse sheet, um, but you never know, his tub will be open for, for a little while, um, but that's pretty much it guys, the other update that I have is I have some, I have a 
Crested Gecko. It needs a hide really badly. And it's right up in that corner. It's like an orangey greenish crusty gecko. I don't know what you would call it a me a uh, buckskin. There's crimson. I feel like the same. All of them have hatched out the same from this pairing. Nothing different, nothing else. He's hiding. I have no clue. Up oh, there. But yeah, they definitely would get fired up and look reddish. They are not fired up at all. Not one bit. And then there's some more crusty echo eggs. And yeah, so. Still a ton more eggs. Still a ton more eggs coming, actually. Um. Yeah, it's, there's a lot. I gotta clean all the tanks today. Uh, it's a heck of a lot. So comment, rate, and subscribe, guys.